Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 11. Then Nakash the Ammoni came up and encamped against Yavashish, rather Yavesh Gilad. And all the men of Yavish said unto Nakash, Cut a covenant with us, and we will serve you. And Nakash the Ammoni answered them, On this condition will I make a covenant with you, that I may thrust out all your right eyes and lay it for a reproach upon all Yashadael. And the elders of Yavish said unto him, Give us seven days respite, that we may send messengers unto all the coasts of Yashadael. And then, if there be no man to save us, we will come out to you. Then came the messengers to Givah of Shaul, and told the tidings in the ears of the people. And all the people lifted up at their voices and wept. And behold, Shaul came after the herd out of the field. And Shaul said, What ails the people that they weep? And they told him at the words of the men of Yavish. And the Ruach Elohim came upon Shaul, when he had heard at those words, and his anger was kindled greatly. And he took a yoke of oxen and hewed them in pieces and sent them throughout all the coasts of Yashadael by the hands of messengers, saying, Whosoever comes not forth after Shaul and after Shemuel, so shall it be done unto his oxen. And the fear of Yahuwah fell on the people, and they came out with one consent. And when he numbered them in Bezech, the children of Yashadael were three hundred thousand, and the men of Yahuda thirty thousand. And they said unto the messengers that came, Thus shall ye say unto the men of Yevesh Gilad, Tomorrow by that time the sun be hot, ye shall have help. And the messengers came and showed it to the men of Yevesh, and they were glad. Therefore the men of Yevesh said, Tomorrow we will come out unto you, and ye shall do with us all that seems good unto you. And it was so on the morrow that Shaul put eth the people in three companies, and they came into the midst of the host in the morning watch, and slew eth the Ammonim until the heat of the day. And it came to pass that they which remained were scattered, so that two of them were not left together. And the people said unto El Shemuel, Who is he that said, Shall Shaul reign over us? Bring the men, that we may put them to death. And Shaul said, There shall not a man be put to death this day, for today Yahuwah has wrought Yashua in Yashereel. Then said Shemuel to the people, Come, and let us go to Gilgal and renew the kingdom there. And all the people went to Gilgal, and there they made Eth Shaul king before Yahuwah in Gilgal. And there they sacrificed sacrifices of peace offerings before Yahuwah. And there Shaul and all the men of Yashadael rejoiced greatly.